Hey guys, it's Neil here again from RepRep Log Phase, doing a tutorial on HeXCAD and how to use it for solid modeling for the RepRep printer. Um, let's see, uh, this time we're going to be going over the items that do not print. Um, these are used for guiding HeXCAD on how to handle rotations and all our different projections that you can do with it and basically just help you draw. Um, none of these are actually going to get extruded or printed or CNC'd whenever you get finished doing your drawing. Um, you have points, which are points in all three dimensions. So if you rotate, as you can see, these are in three different axes there. So points, lines, lines are a lot of times used for rotations, which will be the next thing we'll talk about. Um, text, text will insert a text box on the axis which you're looking at currently. This actually gives me an opportunity to discuss these little handles right here. But um, with text, again, it's not going to get printed. It'll be just there for your own your own information. Uh, these two arrows right here are for rotation. So that one rotates. That one rotates. This one is for moving the object around. Also if you select in the middle anywhere it'll do the same thing. And this button right here is for scaling, so make it bigger and smaller. Um, if you want to change the text, you would go over here to properties. See object title, which would actually be the text that's in there. And then hit enter. And that'll change the text that's inside it. Um, Let's say, for instance, you wanted to point out how wide across that is. You would select this item right here. That you select the two points, and then go down for how much of a tail you want on that. So again, handy, handy for having to remind yourself of things and to make your designs prettier. Um, also, if you'll notice the one axis indicator right there, sometimes you might get really far away from it. You might be way over here and you won't be able to see it. So you can actually place more of those anywhere you want. Just click it. You notice it is currently in the same orientation as the original. You place it there, but it does allow you to reorient it however you wish once you get over here. Let's say for instance the one over on the right had a different XYZ axis. Easy way to confuse yourself, but it's handy for some things. Um, those are all the non-printable things. Um, Next, I'm going to do rotations, but I'm going to save that for a different video just because there's a lot of ways you can rotate with this one. Anyway, I'll see you in a minute. 